was before that, there was a theory of two-person zero-sum games when uh, there's only one value involved, payoff, whatever, whatever one person won, the other person lost. The value could be shifted back and forth. So there was the theory of those and the, uh, the whether there was a win or, or loss, the, the payoff and the value of that that had been worked out and I was being studied. And I introduced, I was a graduate student, I introduced the idea of just generalizing this to three or more players, any, any number, and uh, they had payoffs, they, if, if the players could affect the others, and, and I could show that there was a solution, that the Nash equilibrium. I think of more than one thing, but uh, principally some game theory now. I'm trying to follow up on early ideas on cooperative games. This is a, um, conceptually more difficult area in some ways. If you, you have players, they can be partly competing and partly cooperating and instead of an entirely independent. So this brings up some mathematical challenges when the games are described in certain standard forms. Well, I can't be sure there's, there's a little flexibility in what will be called what. Is this some area, some area of research might develop? And some people might say that this is game theory, the theory of some type of games. Or some others say it's not, it's statistics or it's uh, e econometrics. And so you're not sure how the words will be used in the future, but there's a lot to be done what could be called game theory.